Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm Ari for your cloud learning journey partner. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you a complete roadmap about how to start your AI engineer career in 2025. I will help you to start with the learning phase and then the steps that you take to land your first AI job. Nowadays, AI is the hot topic in IT industry. So any sector, including financial sector or technology sector, in any sector, if you can tell like your product is AI, driven the value of the product or the application is uh, up to the moon so this is the perfect time to learn about AI and if you have the expertise as a AI engineer your earning potential is almost limitless so in this video I will cover all of it your learning phase what is specific thing you need to cover what should be your uh, certification uh, as an AI engineer and how can land your job as a club as a AI engineer so if you stick to the end of this video you'll have all the answers so before starting the video I just want to talk about myself well I'm Arif I do have more than uh, 10 years of experience in cloud computing cybersecurity field I hold multiple certification in AWS Azure Google Cloud I do have CISSP and CSSP certification that uh, we can consider the industry standard of a cloud security certification well this channel is all about cloud computing cyber security and it candidate tips so if you are interested in this topic this channel is definitely for you i'm going to upload a tons of videos with this topic so please please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming contents so at the very beginning of today's video let's try to answer the question like why you need to learn ai why you need to become ai engineer in 2025 so uh, according to bloomberg the generative ai this is a very uh, particular sector of uh, ai which is very popular the generative ai to become a 1.3 trillion market by 2030 so according to Bloomberg intelligence uh, that the that emerging generative AI industry could grow at a CAGR of 42% over the next 10 years. So when a industry is growing this uh, fast in this space, that means there are a lot of new job opportunities. So all the companies like all the big names, uh, if we can name that um, take companies like Google, Microsoft, uh, Nvidia, all the major companies even the financial industries all are trying to integrate ai in their product integrate ai the, they want to make sure like they are not falling behind so when there are this much of uh, uh, competition right now so if you have the proper skill set the skills that are needed to call yourself a proper ai engineer if you have that your earning potential is almost limitless so once you start your learning phase once you are done with the learning then you can land your first job and within a uh, few years uh, working the first job then you can always get a better job with better uh, pay uh, better pay better uh, package and uh, you can always make a lot of money this is the best time to start your career in uh, ai field so when we are talking about salaries of AI engineer, let's try to get some idea like what sort of money we're talking about. So I have already opened a few tabs in here. So artificial intelligence engineer salary in Ontario. I'm in Canada. That's why I'm just looking uh, at the uh, Canadian uh, job market. Uh, I am pretty sure if you are in US, then uh, the salary would be much higher than this. That's pretty sure. So here the median salary of an AI engineer is 100 fifty six thousand six hundred forty eight dollar per year which is a lot of money so here the salary is a median and uh, you can earn up to two hundred sixty six thousand dollars in AI engineer if you have the proper skill sets and uh, I also opened another uh, tab where I did some research that is the machine learning. Machine learning is also part of AI uh, sector. So the average salary is uh, in Canada is $118,000. And here are some job openings already. You can see it from here. It's paying like two hundred eighty-six thousand dollar. It's paying like uh, from two two twenty to two hundred eighty-six thousand dollars. So imagine, like, if you have the skill set, if you put your time and effort to learn this particular technology, then you can easily get the job. Because right now there are a lot of new job vacancies because this technology is new, and that's why there are a lot of new uh, openings. But the skillful person and the, uh, are very less. So if you can develop your skill then you can easily land a job in AI field and once you have the job in AI field once you have the hands-on experience from there your career will go from up and up I'm pretty sure now uh, you are all pumped up after uh, 
uh, getting an idea like what's the earning potential as a AI engineer. So now let's talk about the stack, the technologies, the skills that you need to become an AI engineer. So I'll try to give you a summary of the skill set that you need. The first thing that you must need to learn to become an AI engineer is uh, program language. So whenever we're talking about program language, there are tons of programming language and it's very easy to get confused which one is the best uh, option for you to start uh, to become an AI engineer. If you ask me the one programming language that uh, is uh, good enough to uh, start with, I would uh, definitely say it's uh, Python. Python is the uh, gold standard of uh, AI field, in AI field. So you can start with Python or you can also try to start with R. But uh, uh, my recommendation would be start with Python because it's heavily used. The second thing is that in order to develop uh, AI algorithm, you need to have a uh, sound understanding of algebra, statistics, the probability. So if you have that sort of knowledge skill set, it will be a very uh, key factor to become a better AI engineer. Then you need to also learn some framework like TensorFlow, PyTorch. If you have that sort of uh, knowledge, it is uh, really helpful. Um, nowadays, whenever we're talking about uh, AI, so AI is a big thing. So if you want to develop a model if you want to train a model you need to have a high uh, very high configured uh, compute uh, like compute power and uh, the hardware is very costly if you want to purchase it so what's the solution right now so most of the companies right now are using the cloud uh, native uh, AI solutions. So whenever I'm talking about cloud, I'm talking about the major three cloud providers, uh, which are uh, uh, AWS, second one is Microsoft Azure, and third is Google Cloud. So in these particular three cloud platforms, there are tons of uh, AI-based solutions, and uh, uh, there we can easily train our models, and we are just paying uh, uh, more of a like uh, pay as you go model so it's not that much of expense we don't need to purchase the complete hardware to run our ai model to uh, integrate ai with our application it's pretty easy with the cloud platform so for that reason you need to know the uh, uh, the services that a cloud uh, provider uh, provides for the AI solutions. Once you have the knowledge, the skill set, it's a key factor. It's uh, definitely a very plus point for you to become a better AI engineer. And the last thing I want to mention uh, that is really important to become an um, AI engineer is the communication skill. So look, this field is quite new so whenever you are planning to integrate something whenever you are trying to develop something you need to also sometimes uh, uh, give uh, a, a presentation or something like that to the stakeholders so whenever you're talking to the upper management or stakeholder you can't be that technical you also need to make sure like you are uh, making things uh, pretty straightforward and simple to understand so for that you need to have the combination skill you need to have the skill set to break down a complex a complicated thing to um, like look like very easy so for that you need to have a very good uh, communication skill so uh, if you want to be a, a AI engineer you must have to have a good communication skill um, so I believe like uh, for us whenever we're t in uh, talking about uh, the uh, tech guy we feel like uh, the communication skill is good to have but it's not required but into this world like I feel like communication skill is also equally important as the uh, stack the technical skill set that we have all right so now we are ready to talk about the roadmap the exact uh, footprint that we need to follow to become an ai engineer so here i will try to break down uh, this uh, whole process so the first step to uh, start with is uh, the learning phase, the step one. So a good question could be where I should start with, like what kind of uh, thing I need to uh, uh, learn and uh, what uh, sources I need to use. Well, I was uh, also uh, in the same path when I started my uh, journey, the tech, uh, tech uh, learning phase. So uh, I can help you with some uh, suggestions. So first of all, nowadays, uh, if you just Google AI or some courses, there are tons of free resources available, which are equally good as paid resources. So my suggestion to you is that at the very starting phase, you need to cover the uh, free stuff, the free resources that are available online. If you uh, see some uh, YouTube videos, if you read some articles, everything counts. So. 
uh, that's the beauty of it. Like at the very beginning, what we need to be, we need to be really, really, really motivated. Yeah, I want to learn this technology. I want to know what is it. So here in this phase you need to just only really focus on the learning uh, learning curve like every day you are learning something new you are getting excited and uh, here i would highly suggest you to um, create a uh, routine that every day the particular time like uh, this many hours i'm gonna learn this uh, ai technology i will note down you also should have a should have a, a notebook where you will write down everything and uh, you need to also practice so remember uh, whenever talking about learning uh, learning in in, in any field of uh, computer science uh, you need to have first have the co uh, concept and then you have to practice it because uh, whenever you get a job an AI engineer they will uh, um, have expectation like yeah you can configure stuff uh, you have the hands-on experience right so here we need to be like we need to uh, focus on our skill set we need to put on our work and we need to care some small projects so whatever technology we are learning maybe we're learning Python because python is very important for this ai engineer job so when we are learning in a python why not we create a small project uh, in a, a python programming language so that we can also showcase our skill set so in our resume we can also add the our uh, git uh, repos our links like yeah i already did it i'm not uh, even though i'm applying for entry-level jobs i already have the experience that is required so learn 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 so in this phase there is no shortcut i can't emphasize enough like uh, how important it is to become like totally addictive to this uh, learning phase like in this phase all the hard work all the hours that you're gonna put it will gonna pay you like in a crazy amount way so you have to put on the work and your future self gonna thank you so once you are done with the learning phase you have the basic understanding now at this stage i will suggest you to learn something like very uh, specific things like the frameworks try to learn like what is the tensorflow what is pytorch and how does it work how it fits in the whole ai uh, thing so try to learn that and with all this knowledge try to build project so once you have the project all all of this then uh, at this phase you are no longer a beginner you have have already uh, gone through the process now you need to show um, the showcase your skill set so how you can showcase your skill set there are two ways basically the first one is uh, you need to build project and uh, which are related to AI feel like which uses all of the technologies that you have used uh, that you have learned so far and the second thing is you can go for some certification uh, in my career, in the back uh, background, you can see I have uh, quite a few certification. And whenever I get some free time, I try to learn uh, a new t a topic. I will always go for the certification. There's a reason behind it. Like, it's all cool. Like in tech field, like if you have the skill set, uh, then certification. Some people say like, yeah, certification is good to have, but it's not mandatory. But I feel like. Whenever we're going through a certification process, we're following a complete manual, like uh, the complete uh, roadmap, like from uh, start to uh, the end. So we are uh, uh, pretty much learning all of it. So if there is any knowledge gap, the certifications really helps us to uh, cover those uh, topics. So that's why uh, go for some certification. If you uh, want some suggestion, like what sort of certification I should go for AI, cause it's a new field. I'm not quite sure which one would be a better option for me. Uh, you can go with the cloud-centric AI certification. You can go, go with the AWS certified machine learning uh, certification or uh, other cloud for Azure and Google Cloud. They also have the AI-based uh, certifications. So once you have a certification here, you're proving two things. Like, yes, I have, my, I have put my time and effort to uh, complete it. So whenever there are any job openings, if there's entry-level job openings, suppose there are 10 applicants and all all of them applied for a particular job and guess what only you have the certification so guess what who is getting the privilege in here so you will get noticed and your chances to get hired will be much much higher comparing to others once you have the certification at this uh, phase i would highly suggest you to uh, take your linkedin game very seriously 
create a LinkedIn profile, make it professional, add your certification, add uh, uh, the, the industry uh, experts in the AI field in your uh, LinkedIn profile and try to join community where uh, like AI centric community, machine learning community, the programming language Python community. When you will join this community, I'm pretty sure you will get introduced to some very cool people. They are already way ahead than you. So from them, you can learn. You can go to, uh, through their profile, the LinkedIn profile, you see like what sort of certification they have, what sort of a skill set they have, what sort of job experience they have. So you'll know like, yeah, this is the food step I need to follow. I always do that even uh, nowadays, like uh, after even 10 years, I uh, always do this uh, stuff. I go through, through some LinkedIn profiles. I try to figure out like how they progress in their career. So it's always a learning phase. You have to uh, always uh, try your best to uh, become the best version of yourself so once you have all of this then you have to work on your resume you have to make sure you highlighted all the key your uh, strong skill sets your certification all of your achievement all of your projects and then you can start applying for jobs and now if you go to linkedin and just search for ai jobs there are like hundreds thousands of jobs and if you have a decent uh, uh, linkedin profile and a decent cv with the skill sets that are required for, for an ai engineer i am pretty sure you will easily land your first ai job once you have your first job that's the game changer then you can develop your skill set and remember at this uh, stage of your career you need to learn just focus on learning phase like learn 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 and after five years after six years you're gonna be amazed like yes how much information you have uh, uh, gathered now uh, like you will feel like yeah i'm a seasoned ai engineer congratulations guys for reaching this far of today's video today i have uh, uh, shared a complete roadmap to become an AI engineer in 2025. I have uh, talked about like why you need to learn AI, uh, what's the earning potentiality as an AI engineer, and I'm pretty sure after seeing the numbers, you are all motivated. And I just want to uh, uh, say a few more uh, things that is, uh, remember, whenever you're learning a technology, uh, try to fall in love with the particular technology like try to know more try to explore try to spend some extra hours so that you will understand the thing way clearly and it's not a sprint it's more of a marathon you have to do it every day steadily if you do it then you will easily reach your goal so ai is uh, a very very rewarding sector in uh, uh, current uh, time so if you have the skill set you can have your dream job very easily so my suggestion to you is that uh, if you have the motivation if you really want to make it in your life and you if you are passionate about ai uh, please please spend some time and make a routine and uh, try to learn as much as you can and the roadmap the steps i have mentioned if you follow that i am pretty sure that your hard work and your dedication will pay off for sure uh, thank you so much guys for watching my video if you have any question or any doubt please let me know in this comment section and i'm gonna reply in a very short period of time uh, if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe to my channel so that uh, uh, you can see my upcoming videos well that's all for today have a great and wonderful day